Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with mics and layers and making a really grungy background. So I'm starting off in my small 6x6 journal and I've got these really cool images from ScrapFX which come forward to a page and they've got these really grungy, highly graffitified, which I know isn't a word, um, images. So you can see the one I'm using today is a a take on um, Robert De Niro from Taxi Driver. Well the bits I'm gluing down here at the moment are the bits that I had left over from when I cut out the images. So I wanted to cut out the focal images. Um, you can see there's a nurse there and the, the other image underneath. Um, they So those two come on the same page and there's another two images as well. I think one's of an Elvis and I'm not sure what the fourth one is. But um, they had these really cool backgrounds, so I wanted to try and create my own. So once I've glued down some collage, and you can use any collage that you wanted to, I'm just going over with some um, turquoise paint and rubbing away the excess. Um, this is Night by Mylene stencil. So just using all the different bits and pieces. So if you've got a bit of a mic making-y stencil you could use that it really doesn't matter again what you use in the background is just to add a bit of interest and a bit of line work in the background once you've finished putting your paint down make sure it's dry before you put the next layer down so now i'm going in with a contrasting color a lot of the colors i am taking from the collage piece that i've got so there's sort of the turquoise in the background this is red on the lollipop so quite often when i do um, stuff like this I will you know make up my own color scheme in this case I'm actually using inspiration for my collage piece so again you can sort of see where I've rubbed away the image you've sort of got that leaf shape coming through now next thing I'm going in with is um, another pop of bright color this time I'm going in with yellow so you see I've got a fairly primary based um, palette at the moment. So with yellow it'll add this sort of really nice pop of colour on the page. If you find your yellow is not bright enough um, I would suggest you go in with a little bit of gesso first um, let that dry and then go back over it with the yellow and that will really make it very opaque on your page. Now I'm just going in with my paint pen and adding some scribbles. So I really want to sort of bring out the detail of these leaves. You can see my line work is really, really loose, really, really scritchy, scratchy, you know, graffiti style, that's what we want. So it really doesn't matter that it's messy, it just adds the overall effect. I'm also going in with the other um, stencil and just adding some line work. So basically just drawing around the outside of it just to help pop it out from the page, um, neaten up the edges a little bit. And it doesn't matter, again, what shape stencil you use. Just by adding a little bit of line work over the top, you'll notice you can completely change the effect of what you've got on the page. So you see I've got those little straight lines and I've just done around the circles and so on. It just helps pull it all together. The next thing I'm going in with is a little bit more of the turquoise because I got rid of so much of it from behind. I'm just going to go back in and add a little bit more. So going back and repeating some of the um, stenciling from before. So I had the dots on already, it's not something new on the page and I'm just sort of adding in a little bit of extra. I'm going back in with the leftover yellow I had, same with the dots. So repetition when you're doing Mic making is really, really important because it um, helps, even though it's quite visually chaotic, it helps tie everything together. So the fact I'm repeating colours from the collage um, or the focal image and I'm using repetitive patterns will help pull it all together. I did decide I wanted some splatter in the background. Splatter is also a really useful unifying force. Um, because it's very random, but because it's random all over the place, it kind of actually ends up tying everything together. Now I'm going in with some stamping as well, just to add a little bit of black onto the page. So at the moment everything's very colourful, 
which is fine but I want just to grunge it up a little bit so I'm using these mic making stamps from Tim Holtz I think it's the grunge FX I can't remember the name of the, the set but it's something like that um, it's got lots of sort of mechanically letters and numbers and scratches and so on which I really really like I'm going in with my gel medium to glue this onto the page you will notice I've sort of fussy cut up around the image. I have left a little bit of white around the edges. Um, it's actually sort of been drawn out and around. Now in the original image, it had this sort of um, colorful halo around it, which I wanted to recreate. So I've got my stipular oil pencils. These are the, the fat woody ones. Um, and I'm just blending them out. Now if you didn't have these, um, you could certainly use like a smudgeable crayon like a gelato or you know um, something water soluble water so soluble crayons or something like that that you can sort of smudge out with your finger again using colors I've used in the background so nothing new is going on here and that's just going to help um, frame my image now the image itself looks quite dark at the moment because it's still damp when it dries it will actually become more opaque again so just be aware that don't think your image is going to sink into the background if you want it to have a great deal of contrast on the page I'd suggest putting a little bit of white gesso underneath where the image is going to be and that will certainly pop the colors of the um, collage tissue that you're just gluing down I'm just going through my Art by Marlene um, quote sticker book this one's got nice quotes and quirky quotes and strange quotes in it so it's actually sort of a good all-rounder to have and um, lots of different fonts and so on too which is fun and I'm just going to cut the quote up into little sections one of the reasons I really like doing this is I can control how the quote looks on my page I don't have to have it in nice straight lines I can have it at wonky angles I can have as many words on a line as I would like um, and I thought this quote really sort of sang with the background so you can see all those layers you can see the little bit of stamping peeping through you can see the wonky line work you can see the collage in the background it all sort of ties together and you can see where I got that color palette from from the image itself so I hope you have a go at doing a little bit of grunge and mic making have lots of fun remember repetition is your friend whether it's repetition of color or repetition of pattern and um, I hope you enjoy yourself until next time bye for now